in a lot of ways, I think, I think it allowed me to become who I am. I think it made me know it was okay to be who I am, and it, they also were the girls that I modeled myself on. And um, when I read it again when I was an adult, I was just shocked by how modern it was and how, how pressing it was, and I instantly felt like I had to make a film. And, um, and then that was about five years ago, and then um, I forced myself into the rooms of Sony, and as I told them I wanted to write and direct it, and they first just let me write it, and then um, it, eventually after I directed Lady Bird, they allowed me to direct this. And so it's been, in some ways it's been a journey of about five years, and in other ways it's been a journey of about 30 years, mm -hmm. and um, I, uh, I can't, I can't imagine a more personal project for me. As soon as I knew J Joe, who was Sersha, who told me she wanted to be <laughs> Joe, and she also told me she was just gonna play Joe, um, then I knew it was Timothy because I loved them on screen together and I knew that there was no, there was honestly no other, it, it was Timothy. I knew he was exactly the thing, um, and uh, and he was. I was right, and um, and I loved the two of them together. I love watching them act, and I think one of the amazing things about cinema is, um, as, as but each project is its own world. But also, I'm a fan of the tradition of movies, and one thing in movies is uh, great cinematic pairings, and uh, whether it's you know. Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart, or Jenna Rollins and John Cassavetes, or or uh, Fred and Ginger, or Brad and Angelina. Uh, Brad and Angelina. <laughs> 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 these, um, these again and again. These, uh, um, you know, that that Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. um, it, the, the, there's something like that, that felt traditional about that to me. Like, let's put these two great actors together again. It feels relevant. It feels important by way of uh, the stuff that would have been important in the book that in the 1800s that line up today, and that's you know these classic themes of female empowerment, or rather the uh, nonsensical societal obstacles by way of gender, simply of gender, that keep women back. What I think Greta has especially brought to this version is this theme of artistic empowerment, with Joe's role as an artist could be substituted for anything, that could be a scientist, it could be anything, this happens to be art in this movie.